Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to the first edition of Expanded Friday, where my goal is to, once a week, take a look at a deck that is going to be competitive in the Expanded format, which is black and white on. So, Pokemon TCG Online finally has implemented the Expanded format as a format, so we now have Standard, Expanded, Theme Decks, and Unlimited the two main ones for competitive players are going to be standard and expanded. Uh, but yeah, it's great now that I can actually play expanded games on Pokemon TCG Online against other expanded decks. I'll have some stuff to work with. So it only seems fitting that the first deck we look at in the expanded format is an old favorite. Lots of people love this deck. And that's going to be Rayquaza Electric as Hammy123 gives me a private trade offer. Bad timing. But yes, Ray Eels is legal in the expanded format. So, for those of you who aren't aware of what this deck does, we're going to be trying to use Electric as Dynamotor. Once during your turn, you can take a Lightning Energy from the discard pile attached to one of your benched Pokemon. So the obvious combo for this is going to be Rayquaza EX. Dragon Burst does 60 times the number of Fire Energy or Lightning Energy you discard we're pretty much always going to discard Lightning Energy. If you get three Lightning Energy on him, he's doing 180 damage, and that's knocking out pretty much every Pokemon EX. Now, if you happen to face a Mega Pokemon, just put on a fourth Energy. You can Dragon Burst for 240. That's a knockout, too. So Rayquaza EX, its strength is just being able to blow things up with Dragon Burst. One-hit knockouts. Once you get enough Electric in play... You just keep attacking every single turn. So that's the idea here. Get a bunch of electric in play, keep powering up Rayquaza, Dragon Burst your way to victory. Now, Dynamotor only works when the Pokemon is on the bench. So in order to constantly power up our Pokemon, we're also going to run a couple Keldeo EX. So Keldeo has Rush in, just pushes your active out of the way, says, hey, I'm the active now, shoves the other one to the bench. And then you get to Dynamotor onto your Pokemon on the bench. Basically, we're going to rush in Dynamotor to a Rayquaza. And then just slap a Float Stone onto Keldeo EX. Then it has for your treat. Pretty simple. So we just get to Dynamotor to whatever we want every single turn. So the trifecta, if you will, of Pokemon in this deck. Electric, Rayquaza, and Keldeo. They're going to allow you to do big attacks every single turn. So that's the basic strategy. It's not a very complicated concept, but it is a very, very effective one. You just have to get a lot of electric in play, and once you do, you're going to be doing tons of damage. Now we have some other role players in the deck as well. First one's going to be Raikou EX. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I struggle with some Pokemon names. Raikou is... Uh, what I think this one is called, anyway, it has two attacks here. Thunder Fang does 30, and then you flip for Paralysis. Probably not the attack you're going to use very often. It can be useful against Seismitoad EX to paralyze it, and perhaps prevent it from using Quaking Punch. That is a concern sometimes. Quaking Punch can shut this deck down pretty hard, but... Hey, Thunder Fang maybe can stop them. But we're mainly going to use him for Volt Bolt. So it does... 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and you have to discard all the Lightning Energy. Now, this is going to be huge against Garbodor. So what you do is you just Volt Bolt and knock out Garbodor, and all of a sudden you have abilities the rest of the game. Don't have to worry about that pesky Garbotoxin. And when you get access to your abilities, usually you are winning with this deck if you can Dynamotor enough times. So this is a great Lightning-type attacker, can knock out Garbodor. Definitely worth a spot in the deck. We also have a Zekrom. Seems pretty good. This can be used to knock out Evil Tall EX and Lugia EX. Anything weak to Lightning. Also good against Safeguard Pokemon. Just a nice, solid attacker in general. Bolt Strike, pretty good. And we also have one Shred Rayquaza. Now, if you notice, most of this deck's attackers are basic Pokemon. Sure, we have Electric, but uh, Electric Ball, not really an attack for our purposes. So nothing can really deal with... Pyroar. Yeah. That's weird, huh? You feel like you should be able to deal with it since you have electric, but no, nope, nope, it, it doesn't really attack. It's not going to deal with Pyroar. So we can actually run one of this Shred Rayquaza 
does 90, and it goes through any effects. So it'll go through Pyroar's Intimidating Main. Only does 90 damage, but we can play a Muscle Band alongside it. And then Shred does 110 damage, knocking out a Pyroar. And it has a significant 120 HP, which means even a Pyroar with a Muscle Band cannot knock out Rayquaza with Scorching Fang. So it's a very good, simple answer to Pyroar if you are worried about it. And also a decent attacker in general, also good against Safeguard Pokemon. So those are the Pokemon we have here in this deck. Another thing to keep in mind is we do have Tropical Beach in this deck. So this is going to make it a pretty pricey deck to run. I do feel like Tropical Beach is a very good fit in this deck. Do you need it? Probably not. Um, you could probably get away with not using it in this deck. Maybe play some Bicycles instead and play Sky Arrow Bridge as your stadium. That is an option, but if you have Tropical Beach, this is a great deck to use it in. We got three of them, and then the four Professor Juniper, four N, two Colrus, and then the two VS Seeker. Uh, we also have one Lysander just in case. You know, with Lysander and Raiko, we can hit the bench pretty easily with this deck. And then VS Seeker to get back Lysander if you need to. It's pretty good. Uh, we have three Level Ball. Oh boy, don't you miss Level Ball. Search for those 90 HP or less Pokemon. This will get us any Tynamo or Electric. Beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful card. Wish we had that in the format still. Um, but we're also going to run four Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is great to discard cards. So mainly going to get your Lightning Energy in the discard pile with your Ultra Ball. Dynamotor them onto your Pokemon. Instant Offense. Seems to make sense. Two Startling Megaphone because Garbodor does shut us down pretty hard. Um, we have this and Raikou as an option to deal with Garbodor. Probably don't want to Volt Bolt against a Garbodor deck that has like Landorus EX, so we're going to run some Startling Megaphones as well. One Super Rod. Uh, this deck used to run two Super Rod, but I think we can get away with one just because Pokemon Catcher is not an auto catcher like it used to be in the old days of the electric, so if they want a Lysander, it takes up their supporter, and I don't think they can Lysander every turn. So one Super Rod might be enough to shuffle in your little eels back into the deck. Uh, if one's not enough, we can always Dowsing Machine for a second Super Rod, but I think one should be good enough for this deck. It's not like the old days where your Tynamos are getting picked off every turn. No, they're a little safer now. And then we have one Professor's Letter, just great to search out your basic energy. We've got four Fire, seven Lightning, and then one Escape Rope on top of the Float Stones. Escape Rope's just a really nice card. Uh, and you never know if a Keldeo is going to get stuck active, poisoned, or paralyzed or something. So let's try playing Escape Rope as well. Seems to make sense to me. All right, so there you have it. Rayquaza Electric in the Expanded format. I'm not sure if there were any other cards from Phantom Forces that really helped this deck. Maybe you could do a Battle Compressor if you want to search out some Lightning Energy, get them in the discard pile. That's an option. Um, I don't know if you have space for it. You'd probably have to cut into your Ultra Ball or something like that to fit in Battle Compressor. Don't know if it's ultimately worth it, but that is an option. And you never know. I mean, there are all sorts of options when you have Dynamotor. It is just a great ability to get lightning out of the discard pile and attach them right to your Pokemon. One of the best energy accelerators we have ever seen, just because so many different Pokemon can use the lightning energy. All right, so like I promised, we're gonna have a game in the expanded format now that Pokemon TCG Online has supported this format. So let's see if we can get our Ray Eel deck up and running and Dragon Burst somebody and blow them up. <laughs> so we start off against a Hawlucha and a Landorus EX. This is probably a tough matchup of fighting deck, especially if they play Garbodor. Uh, Landorus EX can put on tons of pressure. Hawlucha is a very efficient attacker. So I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff that can be happening here. Gonna start off with a pretty strong hand, I think. I uh, will drop down a Fire and a Floatstone, a Tropical Beach and a Juniper and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Uh, I have a level ball. I have Keldeo EX. We can throw them down. Uh, against Landris, it's very easy for them to pick off. 
They're electric. Um, so I was actually planning on getting a fourth Tynamo with this level ball, but oops. Looks like that one is prized, so we're going to take an electric instead and just kind of pretend that didn't happen. And now I have a decision. Do I want to retreat to Keldeo, have him take the hit, or just leave Rayquaza up there? And I think I don't want to have an awkward spot where I put a Keldeo out there and it gets put to sleep by a laser and it's stuck there. Um, or I don't draw float stone, so it's stuck there. Uh, so, looks like uh, that was the right decision, seeing as I am asleep and bad things could have happened. All right, but this is looking like a really good start. Got the double electric in hand. Never mind, there's an N. Um, my opponent gets the fighting ener a strong energy on Landorus EX and Fighting Stadium, so a hammerhead. Pretty strong start from my opponent. Let's see if we can respond with something. I do stay asleep, so thank goodness I didn't put the Keldew up there. But here we go. Got a big Juniper. And we do the Float Stone on Keldeo so we can rush in and retreat. And oh man, this is a doozy of a hand. I like what I'm seeing. Let's go ahead. Evolve to Electric. And let's Dowsing Machine. We can grab a Level Ball. And get a second electric. This is going to be a huge second turn. This is about as good of a start as you can get in this game. I can't believe this is a real throwback to all you people who love Ray Eels. This is extremely strong. This just shows what this deck can do when it's running on all cylinders. Turn to Dragon Burst for 180 damage. Goodbye, Landers. And that was just <laughs> insane. Uh, that's not going to happen too often, folks, but when it does, boy, you feel pretty much invincible. Uh, that's that's a lot of damage to dish out on turn two. Just wiped out that Landorus EX like it was nothing. That's crazy. All right. So we see all sorts of stuff happening from my opponent, a Juniper. Going to get a fresh hand, and Holucha will finish off the Rayquaza EX with, I guess the laser is going to do the final 10 damage. Uh, so Halucha, just a great Pokemon. I love that little guy. And you can see how powerful he is right there, getting the finishing blow on the Rayquaza EX. Now, I do need something here to get a knockout. There are many things I could get. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to bench Tynamo. I don't know if I want to, since I could draw Zekrom, and that's one of the things I could attack with. So I'm just going to play the N, and actually, we got the Fire Energy, so that's what I was looking for. I could have used Electric Ball, Haluch is weak to Lightning, but I don't feel like that's a good option, sacrificing any Electric uh, just to knock out a Halucha. so I'm not going to do that. Let's bench the fourth Tynamo, though. Might as well throw him down there, and Dragon Burst, 120 damage on the Halucha. so a nice follow-up attack on that Halucha after that turn. And yeah, things are going well, I mean... Took two prizes turn two, took another prize turn three. This is a really fast, hard-hitting kind of game. And I just need to, you know, keep keep up with the steam here. I, I don't really have a supporter to draw cards. I burn a lot of Junipers. But I should have some Colrus left. I should have VS Seeker in there. Uh, we do see a Lysander and a Hammerhead on my Electric. So I put a wisely targeting down the Eels. Just to get rid of them. And this would be a nice turn to draw. Uh, okay, that's a nice turn to draw Chorus. I, I will not complain about that ever. And we're going to get nine cards. All right. That is beautiful. So here, uh, I draw an Ultra Ball. I needed to get another Electric in play. This was precisely what I needed. And here we go. Um... Got an Ultra Ball, I can discard, probably Lysander, and I guess Zekrom seem like pretty good choices. And we will grab Electric out of the deck, just to get him into play. And there we go. Keep the VS Seekers, those are going to be very useful in case my opponent plays an N. But here we go again, the double Dynamotor onto Rayquaza EX, and we are just... Not missing a beat, man. Not any way. <laughs> we are just rolling through our opponent. Just, man, everything has gone right this game. And it's pretty impressive. It's actually pretty impressive that my opponent has been able to keep up as well. 
you can see how crazy strong energy is with all these fighting Pokemon. Uh, decks can definitely keep up with Rayquaza Electric, but you gotta think at some point the one-hit knockouts over and over and over are going to overwhelm my opponent, and when will he just kind of run out of gas? You know, I got the Electrics on my side. He's gonna need so much stuff here in his hand. It looked so small this, this turn. Um... I'm not really sure what he can do at this point. He would have to knock out an electric to have a chance uh, this turn. Even if he did, we have those two VF Seeker could definitely turn into a Lysander and win the game. So it looks like we have this one pretty much locked up at this point. You never know what can happen though. Something like a, a catcher and a, an end to one. That can always get you. So you're never safe. <laughs> Uh, but there we just see the hammerhead, and that means we definitely are safe. So let's close this game out with one more big attack. Dynamotor number one, Dynamotor number two, get the attachment for the turn, and every turn since turn two we have gotten a knockout, and that is just insanity. Dragon Burst, 200 damage as Rayquaza slashes and devours Landorus EX for the game. So there you have it, folks. It's been a while, but Rayquaza Electric takes the victory. Haven't said that in a few years. Uh, it, it's definitely a player in the expanded format. Not sure how great it is. It's a relatively unexplored format. But now that Pokemon TCG Online supports it, perhaps we can discover things a little more clearly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be doing this every week, Expanded Friday, one expanded deck per week. Let me know what you guys want to see next week, and I'll try to cover something else. So, uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video. I will certainly have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.